Have you ever looked at Apple's Mac Mini and wondered what it's really for? For years, it has always represented one thing, balance. It's the perfect bridge. It's the bridge between a compact, tiny design and real desktop power. It's the bridge between being affordable and offering professional performance. It's the balance between creativity and everyday practicality. But now, in 2025, as the brand new M5 chip generation is getting ready to launch, everyone is wondering the same thing. Will Apple play it safe with just a few small updates? Or will they finally take the next bold leap forward? This new generation, the M5 Mac Mini, could be a defining moment. It could be the chapter that changes the Mac Mini's legacy forever. This update could transform it from just a capable compact computer into a true next-generation desktop powerhouse. A machine that could rival full-size systems in both performance and efficiency, all while sitting silently on your desk. So let's dive deep into every single leak, every rumor, and every realistic expectation surrounding the M5 Mac Mini. We'll cover its chip performance, its design, the new storage, the massive GPU improvements, the price, and that all-important release date. To understand where we're going, we have to understand where we've been. The Mac Mini first appeared way back in 2005. It stood out immediately because it was the smallest Mac ever made. It was a desktop computer that could literally fit in the palm of your hand, yet it delivered real desktop class power. Apple's goal was simple. They wanted to create an entry-level Mac for people who already own a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse. Fast forward to today, and the Mac Mini has evolved into something far more ambitious. It's not just for beginners anymore. It's a tool loved by professionals, by developers, and even by small creative studios that are looking for powerful computing in a tiny, minimalist package. The M4 Mac Mini, which arrived in late 2024, marked one of the biggest updates in over a decade. Apple finally, finally refreshed the chassis after nearly 15 years. They introduced a sleeker, smaller design that was roughly half the size of its predecessor. But it wasn't just about looks. This new design was an engineering feat. It dramatically improved cooling efficiency. It managed airflow better. And it even reduced power draw. All of this allowed the M4 Mini to run faster and quieter than ever before. At the time, it was priced at $599. That got you 16 gigabytes of unified memory and 256 gigabytes of storage. That felt like excellent value for 2024. But as 2025 unfolds, even those specs are beginning to feel outdated. That 256 gigabyte storage, it's just not enough. And that is exactly where the M5 Mac Mini steps in. The heart of this new machine is Apple's M5 chip. This is the company's fifth generation silicon and it's built using TSMC's advanced 2-nanometer architecture. Now, that transition from 3-nanometer to 2-nanometer might sound small on paper, but in practice, this is a monumental improvement. The M5 architecture is aiming to deliver a 25 to 30% faster CPU performance. It's also targeting up to 35% more GPU efficiency. This means better thermal control and longer sustained performance when you're pushing the machine hard. The M5's 10-core CPU is rumored to keep a similar layout. Six efficiency cores for everyday tasks and four high-performance cores for heavy lifting. But thanks to all the new architectural tuning, performance gains are expected across the board. In benchmarks, multi-core scores could rise by around 25%, while single-core scores could improve by 10 to 15%. What does this mean for you? for real-world users. It means faster rendering times for your videos. It means smoother, more responsive multitasking, even with dozens of apps open. And it means shorter compile times for developers. It does all of this while consuming even less power than before. Apple's continued focus on machine learning and neural processing is also a key part of the M5 story. The M5's upgraded neural engine could perform up to 20 trillion operations per second. This is the brain that will unlock all the new on-device AI features in Mac OS 15 and beyond. We're talking about smart image generation, real-time translation, AI-based audio processing, 
and even voice cloning, all happening instantly on your little Mac Mini. Now, let's talk about the upgrades we've REA. LOI been waiting for. If there is one area where users have been begging Apple to improve the Mac Mini, it's the graphics. The base M1 Mini launched with 8 GPU cores. The M2 jumped to 10. And then, stagnation. Both the M3 and M4 models stayed stuck at that same 10-core level. It was fine, but not great. The new M5 Mini could finally break this plateau. Leaks are suggesting that Apple may bump the GPU core count to 12. This would provide a truly meaningful boost for anyone running GPU-intensive workflows. This is for video editors, 3D renderers, coders, and even for light gaming. Apple's Metal 3 technology, paired with a new 12-core GPU, could bring smoother frame rates in creative apps like Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Blender. It means better performance when you're exporting those large 4K projects. This one move would make the M5 Mini far more appealing to YouTubers, digital artists, and developers who previously felt they had to step up to the much more expensive Mac Studio for their heavier work. And now for the other big one. Goodbye 256 gigabytes. This is the storage upgrade we have all been waiting for. One of the single biggest criticisms of the M4 Mini was its tiny 256 gigabyte base storage. In 2025, when apps, projects, and even simple system updates consume tens of gigabytes, that capacity is just far too small for any professional or even serious use. You fill it up in a week. Apple is reportedly, and thankfully, eliminating the 256 gigabyte baseline in the M5 generation. They are standardizing 512 gigabytes of SSD storage as the new minimum. That change, all by itself, makes the entry-level model far more future-proof. It's not just about getting more capacity. It also means you're getting faster SSD performance through enhanced PCIe 4.0 storage controllers. The higher-end versions will, of course, include options for 1TB, 2TB, and 4TB. This will cater to both casual users and pro-grade workflows that require storing massive media libraries locally. What about memory? Apple's unified memory architecture remains one of the company's greatest hardware advantages. By allowing the CPU, GPU, and neural engine to all share the same giant pool of memory, data moves faster and more efficiently than in any traditional PC. For 2025, the memory configurations are likely to remain consistent and smart. You'll be able to get 16 gigabytes, 24 gigabytes, and 32 gigabytes on the base M5 chip. This gives users flexibility across all kinds of workloads, whether you're editing 4K footage, running large AI models, or managing multiple virtual machines. But what if the base M5 isn't enough for you? Beyond the standard M5 Mini, Apple is also expected to release an M5 Pro version. This one is aimed squarely at creative professionals. This model is the real beast. It could feature a 12-core CPU and a massive jump to 22 GPU cores. It could support up to 64 gigabytes of unified memory, have even faster SSD controllers, and, get this, dual Thunderbolt 5 port for mind-blowingly fast data transfer. The M5 Pro Mini would essentially sit in that perfect sweet spot right between the standard M5 Mac Mini and the high-end M3 Mac Studio. It's like a mini studio for people who want top-tier performance in that smaller, sleeker form factor. It is very likely Apple will design this Pro version with an enhanced cooling system. This might mean a larger internal fan assembly or maybe even a passive heat plate design, similar to the Mac Studio's architecture, to handle that extra power. So what will it look like? Apple's 2024 redesign of the Mac Mini was a major milestone. Because that design is so new, the M5 version isn't expected to change dramatically in its appearance. It will likely keep that same refined, minimalist look. However, we do expect Apple to introduce small tweaks for functionality and better heat management. This could mean a new aluminum vent mesh, a slight refinement of the port alignment, and more efficient airflow channels to keep the system cool, even under a prolonged, heavy load. The Mini will likely continue to offer its great port selection. Two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, two classic USB-A ports, 
an HDMI 2.1 port with 8K support, a 10 gigabit Ethernet port, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Wireless connectivity could also see a nice bump to Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6.0. This will bring faster transfer rates and more stable connections for all your accessories, like the Magic Keyboard, Magic Trackpad, and the next-gen AirPods. As for colors, we might even see a new Space Titanium finish to match Apple's high-end MacBooks and iPhones. Apple's entire 2025 strategy is focused heavily on Apple intelligence. This is its new AI ecosystem that spans across the iPhone, the iPad, and the Mac. With the M5 chip's upgraded neural engine, the Mac Mini will finally be able to tap into all of these AI features natively right on the device. That means you'll get an on-device Siri that actually understands context and can handle multi-step commands. You'll get AI writing tools built into mail and pages. You'll get image generation and smart editing features directly in photos and Final Cut. And you'll get voice replication and AI summaries built right into the core of Mac OS. This integration will turn the M5 Mac Mini into a true AI productivity machine for creators and developers alike. So let's talk numbers. How fast will it actually be? Based on internal leaks, and some industry benchmarks of M5 engineering samples, we can make some predictions. The M5 Mac Mini could see Geekbench 6 single core score somewhere around 4,300 to 4,500. The multi core scores could be near 20,000 for the standard M5 Mini. And for the M5 Pro Mini, that could go all the way up to 27,000. Those scores, if they're true, would put the M5 Mac Mini on par with Intel's 13th Gen i9 processors. It would be competing with entry-level workstations, all in a machine that's half the size and uses just a tiny fraction of the power. For video editing, this means you could expect real-time playback of multiple 8K ProRes streams in Final Cut Pro, with no external GPU needed. For developers, it means shorter compile times in Xcode and faster containerized builds when using Docker or virtual machines. Apple is also continuing to push for carbon neutrality across its Mac lineup. The M5 Mini is expected to feature a recycled aluminum chassis, cobalt-free battery materials, and improvements to modular repairability for technicians. Even the packaging will shift toward 100% recyclable paper materials, as Apple moves to remove plastics completely by 2026. Energy efficiency is also a key talking point. The M5 Mini could use up to 30% less power under a heavy load than the M4 model, all while delivering significantly higher performance. Now for the big question, will the M5 Mac Mini actually launch? Apple's release cycle is currently in a state of transition. In 2025, the company is prioritizing the iPad Pro M5 and the Vision Pro M5 updates first. Both of those are expected in mid-2025. That means the M5 Mac Mini might not arrive until late 2025, or it could even be pushed to early 2026. Some analysts have even suggested Apple could skip the M5 Mini entirely and jump straight to an M6 in 2026, just to align with the next MacBook Pro generation. However, a late 2025 launch remains the most realistic and likely scenario. We'd be looking at October or November, which is right in line with Apple's usual desktop refresh window. And finally, the pricing. What will this cost? Apple is known for keeping its pricing consistent, even as performance improves. So, you can expect the base M5 Mac Mini to start at the same $599 as the M4 model. But here is the critical difference. That $599 will now include 512 gigabytes of storage as standard. That is a massive, massive increase in value. The M5 Pro Mini could start somewhere around $999 and scale up to $1,799 for the maxed out configurations with 64 gigs of RAM and a four terabyte SSD. So here are my final thoughts and my best opinion on this product. The Mac Mini has always been the unsung hero of the Mac lineup. It doesn't get the bright spotlight of the MacBook Pro or the big fanfare of the iMac, but it is arguably the most flexible and the most cost-effective Mac that Apple has ever made.
the M5 generation is set to continue that legacy. It's pushing the boundaries of what a tiny desktop can do. It's blending raw, workstation-level power with AI-driven efficiency. It's delivering a machine that can truly stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with tower PCs that are many times its size. Whether you're a developer, a designer, a music producer, or just a casual Mac user who wants a desktop that will last for years, the M5 Mac Mini looks set to be a true game changer. It is the perfect fusion of performance, portability, and future-proof design. And as Apple moves toward a new world of AI-powered Mac OS experiences, this tiny, humble desktop may very well become the heart of the next-generation creative workspace. Now, I want to hear from you. Are you excited about the M5 Mac Mini? Is that 512 gigabyte base storage the upgrade you've been waiting for? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like the video, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell icon like that.